God says, the issue is not a lack of faith on your part. The solution lies in expressing your love. Love is the catalyst that activates faith and brings about transformation. Your ultimate purpose is to receive God's limitless love and pour it out onto others. Even if your efforts go unnoticed by many, the impact will be tremendous. Mountains will be moved, roadblocks will crumble, and miracles will shower upon you in an unimaginable release. Release any notions of delay or the need for a secret prayer formula. God calls you to live a life immersed in his love. Embrace this love and let it flow through every aspect of your being. Embrace the love life he has prepared for you. As a result, you will experience a profound transformation. Today, you can choose to live as a son or daughter of God, for his spirit dwells within your heart. Make it your sacred aim to become a radiant light in his kingdom and his house. God is constructing a dwelling place on earth for kings and priests who understand their accountability. He commissions and charges you today, at this very hour, to step up into your life's destiny. No longer wander aimlessly without direction or vision. God declares that this is a fresh day and a new season for you. The old ways, like the dry and brittle leather on antique wineskins, lack the vibrancy and joy of the new life God has in store for you. Embrace the newness of life and purpose that God offers. Allow his love to flow through you, guiding your steps and shaping your destiny. Trust in his guidance and walk boldly, for he has prepared a path filled with abundance, fulfillment and joy. As you align yourself with God's plans, you will experience a profound transformation, leaving behind the old and stepping into the new. Embrace the clarity and vision he provides and let his love shine through you in every interaction and endeavor. When my enemies try to harm me, they will stumble and fall. I will remain confident in times of trouble, and when my adversaries rise against me, their plans will crumble and they will meet their own downfall. Even if a multitude gathers to wage war against me, instilling fear in the hearts of many, I will not succumb to fear. Instead, I will stand firm in my faith and trust in the Lord. I will hold on to my confidence, knowing that He is with me, protecting and guiding me through every trial. I have one request, to live in the house of the Lord forever. I want to see His beauty and seek Him in His temple. When trouble comes, He will protect me and hide me in His sacred shelter. I will praise Him with joy and make music to Him. There is but one desire that fills my heart, to dwell in the presence of the Lord all the days of my life in this holy sanctuary. I long to gaze upon his splendor, to witness the magnificence of his glory. It is there that I will seek his wisdom and draw near to him. When adversity arises and trials attempt to overwhelm me, he will be my shield, a fortress of refuge where I find solace and safety. Type yes, if you believe in God. God bless you. Type yes, if you believe in God. God bless you.